a he's a huge threat, just as we saw with that mazy run there at the town back four. He stands over this free kick, as does Connor Davis as well. How he'd love a goal against his former club. But it's going to be Doherty to hit this. It's a good strike as well. Oh. What a goal for wow. Jack Doherty. And what a start for Wexford inside the opening minute. Still learning that role, of course. He is more naturally a number 10. He's spoken about the differences. And he's oh, in oh, here, Burden. He's nodded it down for Malloy, but it's cleared away oh. by Lorcan Fitzgerald. Will be a throw into Longford. It was a lovely ball initially. I think it was by Shane Ellworthy actually. Into the Wexford half. Good ball down the line to Carl Chambers. Can he get some end product here? He's surely drawn a free kick. Linesman was slow to uh, raise the flag, but the referee, Kevin O'Sullivan, he was on the ball and he does blow his whistle and indicate a free kick to Longford Town. Yeah, nice play by Carl Chambers. Nice little quick change of direction. Causes a bit of Freel, nice ball around the corner. He gets it back now. Here's Groom. Groom into Doherty. Lovely one touch oh. football. Groom carries it into the penalty area. He cuts inside. Will he get a shot away? He will, oh. and he should have scored. Wow. Well, that would have been, I think, one of the accurate. I think Lynch might have been lucky there. Took a little bit of a liberty. Yeah. Took too many touches. He was pressed and uh, almost forced into the mistake by Connor Davis. Longford with a quick free kick. Good ball over the top from O'Brien towards Chambers. Chambers gets his head on it. Easy save, though, for Alex Moody. Yeah, very decent ball. We'll see what they do here. Three in the wall for Wexford. That's what Alex Moody's decided on here. And he'll hope he's got it right as Longford get ready to take. It's going to be Graydon. Puts his foot through the ball. And I think Moody has got fingertips has, on yeah. it. He has. Great save. And it'll be out for a corner. A fantastic take. Again, he needs to switch it though. It's a clever ball inside to Verdon. Verdon gets it out wide to Ben Lynch. Lynch with the cross towards the back post. In comes Graydon. He's got his head on it, but only back across the six-yard box. Freel will get there. He should be able to clear his lines. Indeed he does. Corcoran can't latch onto it though. And Longford will come again. A little bit better here from the town. More energy about their attacks. And Ryan Graydon is absolutely cracked out on the far side there. That's surely got to be a booking. And indeed it is. That was uh, ferocious. Moody, good starting position. Came out and claimed that one. He tries to uh, launch a quick counter-attack. And Jack Doherty is caught. Dylan Baronet there with a forearm. And that's going to be a booking. Mm. I don't think there was any intent in that. So I think the yellow card is the uh, correct decision. But that was uh, a nasty again from him. He finds O'Brien. O'Brien works it wide to Elworthy. Longford have got three, four, five in the box. Elworthy with the cross. It's over the head of the keeper. It's still alive. And Malloy with the header. And it's in the back of the net. He's struggling to get into this game, Eric Malloy. But he was in the right place at the right. Gil Shells, Pat Sligo and Drotter. Now he's here at Wexford and he's having a great impact. Down on the southeast. Connor Davis to take this free kick. One by Corcoran. Davis whips it in towards the back post. And that's a header from Fitzgerald. And it's just wide. A let off for Longford Town. Yeah, that was a chance. Him to find Lynch again. Two of the youngest players on the pitch linking up well there. Here's Malloy. He's got some space to work with. And that's a clever ball out to Sam Verdon. Verdon, though, has played it inside to Graydon. Oh, and Graydon cut across it when he really should have used his instep. And he had he been a bit... Corcoran tried to play a cheeky little flick around the corner. It's not paid off, but... There's a strong, strong tackle on Aaron Robinson from Mitch Byrne. And that's got to be a bucking. He looked out of control there, Burn. Yeah, he flew in. And again, the referee, he's running out of space, though, and he's given the ball away, and O'Brien can spring the counter-attack. Ryan Graydon here, he can have a run at Fitzgerald. And he almost got by Fitzgerald, but uh, Fitzgerald just got enough on the ball. It broke the way of one of his central defensive partners, and that ball won. Yeah, we mentioned in that first half to Dylan Barnett, there was a good few of his set pieces that didn't beat the first man. There's going to be a change on the set piece here. It's going to be Ryan Graydon to take. And Lumford are going to try and work a short routine here. Graydon plays a 1-2 with Chambers. Graydon with a curling shot on goal, but that floats out over the crossbar for a goal. Doherty tried to flick it back to Corcoran. It's cleared away by the town. Graydon, ball over the top now for Eric Malloy. Malloy's going to get there first. He needs support, though. Cross towards Graydon. Oh, and it's just wide. Moody has to be quick with his feet here. And he certainly is. That's a loose touch though. And that'll present a chance to Longford. Malloy into Graydon. Big chance here. Flags flag up. up flag Good up. save all the same from Moody. Well, I was just going to point out, you know, Longford's press. Elworthy oh. over the top to Graydon. Good ball. Graydon does well to take it down. That's a good ball from Robinson. Graydon, is he going to hit it first time? He is. What an oh. effort from Ryan Graydon. He smashes the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. Wow. I mean... It's uh, uses his body really well, turns away from him. He's pulled him down, he knows he's done. The referee 
Kevin O'Sullivan has been lenient at times. Ball over the top towards Carl Chambers and he couldn't get anything on it. Alex Mooney. Yeah, scored three times in the Premier Division for Longford last season. Aaron Dobbs, he's Wexford's top goal scorer this term with four. And here's a chance for Wexford. Now Connor Barry goes down under attack and referee says play on. Doherty with a shot. It's blocked by Barnett. And Dunn going to try and add some composure to the town back four. He all over the top towards Doherty. Barnett heads it away. It'll come back to Barry again. Falls over the ball. But uh, it breaks his way once again. Ball into Dobbs. Doherty lays it towards Dobbs and Dobbs was just about to draw his left foot on that one but all the way from right back came Shane Elworthy to cover the win and he's created a little bit of space for himself good ball into Verdon he's got his back to goal but he's managed to turn he strikes it off the left that's a brilliant block header back in towards Power Power beating in the air and Freel will eventually get that away didn't see who made that block for Wexford but it was absolutely drives in towards the corner gets the cross in cleared away by Fitzgerald Chambers was just waiting for that one to arrive and uh, unfortunately all that arrived was Aaron Dobbs. That's a crunch and tackle from Chambers on Dobbs though. I think he was a little bit annoyed with himself there, Chambers. We're going to try and worry the Wexford goal as they break forward and that's a really, really over the top tackle and it's a straight red card for Fitzgerald and I don't think he can argue with that at all. He's gone recklessly over the top of the ball and uh, he's caught the Longford Town player. Jack Doherty, he's the only one not in the penalty area here in a pink shirt. Barnett to take. Whips it in. Lovely flat delivery. Oh, oh he's done it. Diamond header. It's in the back of the net. And Lawford Town have surely found a late winner at Bishopsgate.